What's up guys, welcome to Weird Eatery. My name is Brendan Taylor, thank you for coming back to my channel. Today we are at Tio's Tacos. This place is one of the weirdest places I have ever seen. If you just look around, there's all this art that is made out of scrap metal and other trash. It's actually really interesting and they're pretty known for their tacos too. So let's go hop in line and let's go see what their menu's like. Come on. Can we get a plate of two soft tacos? One carne asada, one shredded beef. Um, then can we get a chile plate? Yeah, uh, we have mole green or red salsa. Green, please. Oh, ceviche. We're gonna get an horchata. What is that? What is that red stuff in the picture up there? That is menudo. Menudo. Is it good? It is good. Okay, and then can we get a, a medium menudo? So the food came out rather fast. We honestly got our appetizer at the same time that we got the rest of our meal, but I'm not complaining because I like fast service. So I think what we should try first is this horchata, right? Okay. Let's just try the horchata first because I always do an horchata test. We got to see how good it is here. We just got to shake it around. Oh, this is good horchata. I don't know if I want to drink it after that slur. <laughs> Honestly, it's very sweet horchata. Oh. But that's how I like it. It's not powdery at all. No powder in that. But the only thing I will say is it kind of does remind me of like a fountain horchata. Yeah, but I saw inside that they make everything Oh, they fresh, do? So. Okay. With that being said, then that clears my mind. That makes me happier about it. Horchata, so far, so good. Let's jump into this appetizer. So we got the ceviche, the shrimp ceviche. And wow, does this thing look good. Let's grab a tostada. But first, lime it up for us, Jake, will ya? It looks like it has some kind of, uh, I don't know, that looks like a, like a mole, huh? Dressing on top of it, or a sauce on top of it. I'm not too sure. I'm not sure what it is. But we're gonna try it all together. Look at these big shrimp. These are like jumbo shrimps. They're not cheaping you out at all on that. Almost wish they gave you some more, like, it's all shrimp. There's like no pico de gallo in there. Yeah, it's not like a, like a Vallarta kind of. So here we go, let's try it. I will say off the first bat, I think the tostada is a little bit too of a crunch. Uh-huh. It's a little bit too much for it's me. It's a little too much. Like it's almost like you lose the taste of everything else because it's, it's so, so thick. Thick. I almost wish it was just a regular chip uh -huh. rather than a whole tostada. When you're talking about thick, the shrimp itself are so mm. fluffy and fat. It's almost like touching someone's flexed muscle. Like this shrimp went out flexing because these things are thick. I most definitely agree with you on the chips. It's a good little starter for mm -hmm. sure. I'd rather just eat the shrimp out of it, not even eat the tostadas. I can't tell if it's like, they put two tortillas together and made the tostada, <laughs> or it's stale. It, I don't know. Either way, let's jump into these tacos. This is what they're most known for here. We got one carne asada and one shredded beef. We're both just gonna grab one. Here we go for their most famous item, the tacos. Cheers, my friend, here we go. Okay. Mm. That's a good little taco. Oh wow, you want to try it? Uh -huh. That beef just kinda like melts in your mouth. And that carne is so good. I think mine's better. Oh wow. I should have traded. <laughs> <laughs> that shredded beef, man, it really does just evaporate in your mouth. Yeah. Eating that shredded beef is like being in the middle of the desert on a hot 120 degree day and you get your first drink of water. It just goes down so nicely. And these tacos aren't like those little street tacos that you would get. When you get a little street taco, it's a little like corn tortilla, it's very small, it's falling apart. Yeah. These are actually really well made and well put together. Yeah, mind you, those tacos usually cost how much? A couple bucks. These were $10 for this whole For the whole plate. plate. Yeah. But by themselves, they're $2.99. Mm. The tacos did shit on the ceviche though. Yeah. It was a lot better. I feel like we're slowly progressing. I feel like this place is like close to being like you're in Mexico. That's very those vibes, you know? Yeah, well, that's actually where the owner is from. It's from Mexico. Oh, really? Yeah, and he migrated down here, and uh, now he considers the United States his home. But I'm look, glad he brought the food with him. <laughs> yeah, he definitely brought the flavor with him. Let's dive into one of my favorite plates. This is the chilequiles. I usually order these all the time when I'm at a certain restaurant, but I've never really ordered them anywhere else. So this is gonna be a telltale sign whether or not I really like chilequiles or if I just like a certain place of chilequiles. So let's go in and let's try this, Jake. Wow, I'm just looking at every single thing in this place. There's so much to look at here. That's what's That's gonna be the cool a baby. thing. Oh my God. Oh look, there's a monkey. Oh what? Oh my god, it's a whole, there's a tiger up there. 
Those are dang. That smacks. That smacks so, <laughs> so hard. Best salsa verde I've ever had in my oh, life. Wow. And I know I'm gonna get roasted for the way I said verde. I, I also am used to more chilaquiles being like crunchier. Yeah, with some more crunchier chips. Parts more of, almost more of a nacho type thing. Yeah. And this here, one, it's not like I that. feel like the plates are that, that, this plate is a little small compared to what we're used oh, to. Oh, yeah. But I honestly, I would recommend this to someone if they said, oh, hey, yeah. what what, can I, what should I get here? I would say the chilaquiles because my first bite really yeah. did a lot. It's very like lemony too. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's their salsa that has a hint of lime or lemon mm. in it that changes the game because what I'm used to is just a regular salsa verde. It doesn't really have yeah. like a lemony taste, but this one, real nice. I feel like this is one of those places where you feel good after. Like, I, I feel like nothing's like that heavy. Uh-uh. It feels very like light and fresh, and that might just be because it's so fresh. And we ended up paying $54 for all of this. Uh-huh. If you really think about it, we got four dishes for $54. That's about like, what, $12 a plate almost? And two beers and, two and, beers and horchata. horchata. So like, you really can get a lot for your buck here. This place does go a long way for some really good food. Yeah, I spent $45 on sushi for myself last night. That's what so, I'm saying. I did, a, I did a reaction video on Wednesday, but it doesn't look like anyone really watches my reaction videos. Got like 50K, but <laughs> I did like reacting to ASMR videos. And some people were like, I can't stand how the people eat, but for some reason, I can watch you guys eat. Is there something that we do when we eat that's interesting? I don't know. Maybe I enjoy. we just pigs. I think that's I think it. I think we enjoy our food. Mm, it's so good. Oh, this is really good. Just just raw. Raw dog in it. No tostada. No, There's nothing better than raw dog in it, right? It doesn't last as long. Yeah. You chew more when you have the tostada. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you notice that these things that are standing in front of us, one has titties and they're being milked, and the other one is pissing from his dick, which is a faucet. And if you look at this other one, it has a Barbie doll as the vagine. I don't know if you call this guy a creative or crazy. I mean, it very much can be taken either way, but it is very creative at the end of the day. Because look at this. This is all recycled bottles over there and they made a giant statue. Yeah, they just like cemented it. Like this guy is the definition of one man's trash is another man's treasure. Because you can give this guy, this guy probably will make art out of our leftover food. Let's try this menudo, okay? Honestly, it looks a lot like pozole. I will say, I don't like their limes. Yeah, they're, they they're, weird taste. Uh, they're not sour, yeah, they're, they're like tart. Tardy, ugh. Yeah. They're picking them off the wrong tree. They, oh, they should maybe switch to lemons. I would recommend the Eureka. I have one of those trees in they my backyard. They are the sourest ones mm -hmm. of the bunch. They gave us some toppings with our menudo. We got some diced onions and some coriander. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of that in there. Gotta love a little coriander. Coriander. They also gave us some marijuana leaves. If we want to throow those in there, That's I figured, probably like why oregano. Not? Oh, is that what that is? Oh, oh, it never looks mind like that. weed. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what it looks like or anything, but that looks like it. And they gave us some uh, some red chili flakes. Got to add a little bit of that in there. And let's go at this. Mix it up a bit. Ooh, look at oh, that meat. This is uh like like pig feet. What is this? I don't we should know. look it up what menudo is. I think actually we'll look it up after because I don't think we're gonna like what it says. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's try this. I got a really fatty piece. I got mine. real fat. But they also gave us these tortillas. I feel like you're supposed to dunk these in there. Maybe maybe that's kind of how you enjoy it. Can we put some limes in there? Yeah, I need. I don't like those limes. Those limes kind of ruined the rice and beans yeah, for me. Yeah, they did. All right, it is a, it is a lot of fat. Oh my god, what the hell is that thing? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, maybe we're not supposed to eat that. Maybe we're supposed to drink the soup. Look at this, guys. This is straight fat. That's like a bone. It's bone, which is fat. We should look marrow. this up. I'm hold on. Let's look up what's in there, man, because. A lot of this meat is just very fatty meat. Like, I don't know if you're supposed to eat that. I feel like you are, but to me, the first bit of taste kind of just tasted like some wheat. So it's made pozole. with cow stomach and broth. So that's cow stomach. Oh my God. Look at that. That would make sense. That's a cow stomach right there. Look how jiggly it is. And look at this bone, hold on. <laughs> okay, look, I mean, I don't, I, I, I've never really, I guess had menudo until now. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I don't know. I, I, if you like fatty meat and you like slimy meat going down your throat, then more power to you. This might be the meal for you. But for me, I don't know if I enjoy eating the texture of fat. And the thing about it is like the cow stomach doesn't even have that much flavor. So it's just like you're chewing fat for no reason. I don't know why you ordered that. I don't know. I, I wanted to try something new. I wanted to give the people a full experience and really let them see what we're eating and eating different things, putting ourselves out there. And I think it was a big waste of $11.99. <laughs> I feel like if we called our mom right now and told her we're eating menudo, she'd be like, ew, gross, you why? Think? 
Yeah, I let's think do that. It. I think that's literally a thing that she said. Like she's like, I would never eat menudo. Let's call her and ask her. Hey, mom. Hey. I'm about to have menudo. Have you had it before? Is it good? It's like the inner lining of the stomach. Uh, and it tastes and you... like ass. It's not good. It's not even comparable to bosole. The only thing that it would say looks like bosole is the color of it. it just tastes or like I'm eating there, fat. Maybe they gave you the ass's inner skin. That's why it tastes like ass. <laughs> the asshole. I mean, the meal was pretty good. The tacos, delicious. The chilequiles, delicious. Awesome. I'm sure that there is really good dishes here. We made the mistake of ordering the menudo. If you're a fan of menudo, you might like it. I personally don't think it has enough flavor. I think it just kind of tastes like eating fatty tissue. It's not enjoyable to me. So I'm not even gonna try to continue. So I guess I'm done, because Jake's gonna wipe the plate clean over there. So uh, let's, let's do a walk around this place and let's go check everything out real quick. Look at the light coming through, how beautiful. This is insane. You know what these guys are, right? These are the four guys who left a one star review on their ratings. Uh, this is where you end up. Wow, how long do you think it would take us to build a wall like this? Oh, it is. Yeah, probably not too long, we're heavy drinkers. Uh, there's a chapel here, Come check this out. If you need to pray, look at this art. This is crazy, everything in the wall is bottles, like beer bottles of some sort. That is literally the art around here. And it, it's a makeshift church. How cool is that? We have angels on the ceilings. We have skylights that are the most interesting skylights I've ever seen. Honestly, this is pretty cool. It would be kind of freaky to be here at night by yourself though, just because I feel like all these little things, you might catch an eyeball looking at you or two. Just, just check all this out. Like, someone has literally made this out of shelves. Like, the guy made it out of shelves. How insane. Remotes, parts, radios, like, <laughs> It's just pretty crazy to me. This looks like it was all like cans, like where you'd have beans or something inside in case of an emergency. Everything just has so much character. This That's is what's the really cans cool. tops. Oh yeah, look at it. You know when you open a can of beans or something and you gotta put your finger and rip this out? Someone made wings. It really combines an eating experience and a art experience all in one. It's kind of like an art gallery in a way, but at the same time you get good food. That's what makes this place so awesome. Look, they fill the ground with shells. Wow. These are all oyster shells. Oh, they probably use it from people's mouths. Ugh. They probably collect them. Because uh, you can order oysters here, so they probably just continue to re-up on these by adding more. Look, they put on like, is this Jake Paul versus Ben Askren? <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Which one you got your money on? <laughs> Look at that Christmas tree. Paul Revere, is that you? Paul? Esperamos su regreso. Wow, guys, look how awesome this all is. Wait, cut. Look how awesome these things are. Wow, I wish I can go in the other one. Oh, and they got a gift shop, but I don't think it's open right now. Actually, I don't think it was ever opened. Look, I'm Grandma. Oh my God. Hi, my name is Lupe. I feel like if my grandma was here, she'd say, Whoever's making this stuff is really talented. Really talented. Oh damn, and we got some astronauts over here. Hey, you think they got a, you got some room for me in there? Cause I can't be here no more. And I can't be here no more. What the hell's going on here? Oh man, she flexible. Ooh. She got the move. Uh, oh, enter at your own risk. I can't sue if I break a leg. Last but not least, let's give our praise to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because without Jesus, none of us would be here. Thank you for sacrificing yourself. Well, is his hair like all the, what are those little metal? Like little metal pieces. So when this grows out, it's gonna completely cover with plants. Yeah. Wow, that'd actually be really pretty. I really like this place, and if you're in the Riverside area, I would definitely recommend swinging by, trying some of their tacos. If you like chilequiles, definitely try those because that was the best part of our meal. That wraps up this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the thumbs up, pick up the merch, brandandtaylor.com, because it's the only way we can continue to make these videos possible. So if you like them and you like the channel, support it by getting some merch. I love you guys so much. I have a brand new song dropping this Friday. Friday. It's called Happy in the Hills. You can pre-save it the first link in the description or you can just wait till Friday when it drops. Either way, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys later. Peace. My anxiety takes a hold of me. I ain't happy in the hills no more.